Hello, this is Hans-Jürgen Clemens again speaking from Motik about polarization contrast on our upright microscope models BA210, BA310 and BA410, respectively the elite versions of these models. Polarization contrast is an easy method to be applied on these microscope models to detect B refringence. What is B refringence? B refringence is a phenomenon which can be observed in a lot of materials like crystals, minerals, packing foils, fibers, but also in biomedical uh, samples like hard muscle cells, like starch grains, or for example, the secondary cell walls of plants. B refringence is a phenomenon that is based on the crystal structure of a, of a sample, for example, but also on the, let's say, organized macromolecules within an amorphous matrix, for example, in a secondary cell wall of a plant. Think about the height of a tree, and this height can only be achieved by this very solid, very secondary cell wall where, where parallel cellulose fibers are embedded in a matrix and are impregnated by lignin, a kind of alcohols, but also with uh, minerals. How to detect B refringence? First of all, we need a so-called polarizer, which will be placed on the light exit of the microscope. In this case, we do have a BA310 liter as an example for all BA210, 310 models. The task of the polarizer is to filter out linear polarized light, means light that is only oscillating in one direction. As a second hardware tool, we do need a so-called analyzer, which has to be placed in between the tube and the upper part of the microscope. So later on, I have to remove the tube by the Allen key and have to place the analyzer on top of the microscope. This analyzer generally is orientated in 90 degree position to the polarizer. That means if there is no sample on the stage, the background will be as dark as possible. We have to move the polarizer a little bit, but at the end, the, the background will be as dark as possible. So once we have aligned the polarizer so that we do have achieved a 90 degree position between the polarized light and the analyzer orientation, then we do have a dark background and any B refringent structure, any B refringent sample will shine up as a bright or even colorful phenomenon on a dark background. So now I'm going to mount the necessary hardware components for polarization contrast in BA210 and BA310. I have to remove in both models, I have to remove the tube first and then I have to take the analyzer and have to place it into the upper part of the microscope. Please note that for the BA210, the analyzer has, has a different mounting, but functionality and position is exactly the same. Again, I have to fix the tube. Now I'm going to take my sample, place it on the stage, and of course then do a proper bright field setup for the BA310, BA310 lead in this case. This means that we do have the curler illumination. You know this already. As a last step, I have to take my polarizer and has to place it on top of the light exit. For this, you may remove this protection ring. So place the polarizer onto the light exit. Now I'm going to check my sample by rotating the polarizer. Please rotate the polarizer until the background is as dark as possible and keep it fixed. Now any B refringent structure will be shine up as a bright structure or an even colorful structure on this dark background. Please note that any strain component within polarizer and analyzer area will lighten up the background, so it may not be perfectly dark, but only dark grayish. Just a final word about the polarizer. If you remove the polarizer from this setup, you may keep the analyzer built into the microscope. Now it just works as a neutral density filter, so you can go ahead with your examinations of the sample, applying, for example, phase contrast or even dark field. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it gave you some helpful information. More information you can find on our website www.moticeurope.com 
And of course, you find us on YouTube channel. You're invited to visit us on our social media platforms. Thanks again for your attention. <music>